Okay, now we're going to do a Wireshark capture of setting time using the Mac. We're going to start off by opening our Wireshark and getting a new capture. I like to capture for, set a capture filter so we don't capture everything on the network. UDP 123 is the port for uh, NTP. And I'm going to also do port 53 to get some DNS traffic. Let's take a look at whether we're capturing packets right. Looks like we are. We have some background DNS queries going by. The other thing is our host isn't going to check the time anytime soon. So let's coerce it to check the time. So we pull up our date and time control panel. In my, in my case, I have to enable as an admin. And I need to enter the correct password. Once I've done that, then I can change the time server. Of course, it will eventually, there it is, in fact, it, because I opened this up, it went ahead and checked the time against its configured time server. Notice it's stuck in the NTP version 4. And here are, let's put our capture filter down to just looking at the NTP. So it actually checked the time when I opened up the control panel. So that was sufficient. Let's just check it anyway with ntp.vt.edu. And we see there again, it checked it. And once I did that, it actually used IP version 6 as the um, method for doing so. NTP version 4 does support IP version 6 as a transport for checking time. That's in fact what it did. If we open up, if we take a look at our DNS, then you see that here is where it asked for time using NTP version 4. I want to stop our capture. And right before it, we had queries for ntp.vt.edu. And here's the quad A record that got the answer for that. So this is the where I'm asking for the time. And the query response for the quad A record is right here. And we see there are four NTP servers for the name ntp.vt.edu. Similarly, if we look at the query response for the IP version 4 A records, there are four systems. These are NTP-1, NTP-2, NTP-3, NTP-4.vt.edu are the individual four servers. They're in what's called a DNS round robin. So all four of those servers are uh, given as the answer to the A record and the quad A record respectively for ntp.vt.edu. All four of those servers IP addresses are returned. And then the client can then choose if it wants to use any or all of those uh, IP addresses. So there we go. That's how we can induce a uh, NTP capture on a Mac. Let me see that it's doing version 4 where our Windows capture only did NTP version 3, which does not support IP version 6 for the transport.